Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for the week of November 23rd from the National Weather Service in Spokane. Tonight through Tuesday, a winter storm will move into the region bringing widespread winter weather. Snow will decrease north to south Tuesday night as cold dry air moves in from Canada. Wednesday will be breezy across the region, but dry. Then Thursday through the holiday weekend, we will see cold and dry conditions. A winter storm will move into the region starting tonight. Snow will spread into the Cascades and central Washington this evening and then into eastern Washington and north Idaho overnight. Rain and snow will continue through the day on Tuesday. Tuesday evening, as colder, drier air starts to move in from Canada, the chance of precipitation will shut off from north to south through the evening and overnight hours. The northern counties will see all snow with the exception of the northern Idaho of northern Idaho where the Highway 95 corridor will see rain transition to snow towards Tuesday morning. Areas south of Spokane and Coeur d'Alene will start off as rain tonight and then transition to snow by morning. Low clouds and fog across the Columbia Basin and western Palouse area have led to below freezing temperatures today and they may get some freezing rain tonight and Tuesday morning. The warmer air is expected to remain across portions of the Pullman and lewiston clarkston Valley throughout most of the event, hence their lower snow accumulations. The area shaded in gray has the potential for slick driving conditions during the morning and evening commutes Tuesday and Wednesday. Freezing rain is possible in the pink shaded area and would bring icy driving conditions to a large portion of the Columbia Basin. Snow that does fall will have a difficult time melting quickly because of cold temperatures expected starting Tuesday night. Skies will begin to clear Wednesday and clear skies are expected Thursday and through the weekend and should help roads melt during the day. But slick driving conditions are expected until the roads completely dry out. Many impacts are expected across the region. The biggest concern will be the freezing rain possible across portions of the Columbia Basin and western Palouse. Freezing rain would lead to icy roads and dangerous travel conditions. The freezing rain will change to snow Tuesday with compact snow and ice possible across roads. For the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene areas, they will see rain tonight and then transition to snow overnight into Tuesday morning. Roads are expected to be slushy and or snow covered. For northern Washington and northern Idaho, they will see all snow with roads expected to be snow covered. Road temperatures will warm a bit Tuesday and potentially melt the snow on the roads. Then, with cold temperatures expected Tuesday night, the roads could become ice covered and very slick. Here's some expected travel conditions through the holiday week. Motors can expect snow on the mountain passes as well as many valley locations. Freezing rain in the basin will make travel difficult due to possible ice on roads. Snow and melting snow will create hazardous driving conditions through Tuesday. Wednesday, skies will begin to clear, with, with, um, which will help snow melt on the roadways. However, until roads are completely dry, there is the potential for icy roads each evening through the morning time frame. Because of the snow starting tonight and continuing through Tuesday, we have issued a winter weather advisory. This advisory is in effect from 10 p.m. tonight through 4 a.m. Wednesday morning. Depending on where you live, there are different start and ending times, so please check our webpage for the advisory directly impacting you. Sustained north to northeast winds of 15 to 25 miles an hour are expected across the Okanagan Valley, Waterville Plateau, Columbia Basin, West Plains, Palouse, and the Highway 95 corridor north of Coeur d'Alene, Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday afternoon. Gusts as high as 35 to 40 miles an hour will be possible over portions of the Waterville Plateau, Columbia Basin, as well as the mountain ridges. Thursday morning will be the coldest morning of the forecast period. S clear skies coupled with the recent snow will produce widespread overnight lows in the teens. Thursday morning will be the coldest with temperatures expected to slowly moderate through the rest of the forecast period. However, minimum temperatures will remain about 5 to 12 degrees below average for this time of the year. 
Although winds will be decreasing from our breezy conditions Wednesday, they will still be elevated enough early Thursday morning to provide single-digit wind chills region-wide, with Marigny areas seeing negative readings. The 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, valid November 30th through December 6th, shows that temperatures will have equal chances of below, above, or near average conditions. However, they do show that we will remain dry through the first part of December. In summary, a winter storm will move into the region tonight, bringing widespread rain and snow to the region. At least light accumulations will impact the majority of the region with higher amounts anticipated for northeast Washington and north Idaho. This will make for tricky travel conditions Tuesday through Wednesday. Winds will, be, will also become breezy across the region starting Tuesday afternoon and continuing through Wednesday. Sustained winds 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 40 is expected. We dry out Wednesday and will get cold and remain so through the weekend. Skies will be mostly clear from Thursday onward. That is this week's weekly briefing. Please monitor our forecast through the week for updates. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you for turning in to this week's weekly briefing and have a safe Thanksgiving.